And there we go, Skyblock level 7. Pretty good considering it only took us 1 hour and 41 minutes. As many of you know, I started a brand new profile just with a Hyperion. I want to show you the quickest way that I know to unlock the Bazaar. To unlock the Bazaar is very simple. All we need to do is hit Skyblock level 7. And doing that is so easy, especially if you know the things in the game that give you the most Skyblock XP. Let's start a new profile here. Now, the first thing that we're going to need is a mod called NEU. On a brand new profile, we can just type in slash NEU. And now NEU has so many awesome features, but the one that we're interested in, if I can just find it, oh my gosh. Here here it is in misc under fairy souls we're going to start tracking fairy souls now when you go to the hub you'll notice all of these purple beams every one of those points directly to a fairy soul and we're going to be collecting a lot because if you didn't know every time you hand in five fairy souls you actually get 10 skyblock xp which is crazy we need to make sure that we're collecting every easy to grab fairy soul on the way to unlock the bazaar we need a total of 700 xp so let's get started first we're going to very quickly grab farming level one before using the coins that we got from leveling up to buy a rookie hoe. Let's quickly grab the rogue sword. And here you can see we get five XP for every time we level up and four XP every time we unlock a new collection. Well now we're just gonna do this until we have a total of 5,200 coins. We're gonna head over to the mine merchant. So basically now we're gonna be unlocking taming. All you need is 18 coal and 18 gold and you're gonna make two of each of those blocks before trading it into B for our first pet. Make sure that you actually equip and summon the pet by opening up your pet menu. And there we go, we're already getting taming XP, leveling up the B, it is very, very good, very, very cool, and very, very swag. Far more wheat into your inventory is completely full. Once that's done, buy one stack of wool from the wool weaver before taking it over to the carpenter and starting the carpentry skill. All right, there's carpentry level one and skyblock level one. And we're gonna be crafting all of this into the enchanted variant. Never mind, I don't have access to that yet. And we're just going to be selling it. I'm not going to keep any of this. We need the money right now. Now we're just going to farm wheat, craft it into the enchanted form, and then sell. And we're going to repeat this until around level 10. You can do more if you want. If you are a new player, it's very much worth listening to these guys because they give you really good advice. Have a look. All right, very cool. Now what we're going to do for this moment, uh, actually, let's just quickly jump down and grab this because it's basically in our way. Now we're going to create an efficiency 4 golden shovel. Buy two stacks of experience potions, eight efficiency 1 books, one piece of gold and a couple of sticks, before finally combining all of the books together in an anvil, this costs no levels, then getting up to level 25 with the potions and applying the book to the shovel. And there we go. And that gave us three levels on conjuring as well, which is awesome. And we may as well grab this on our way. On the farming islands, the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be collecting potato and carrot until we have unlocked the recipe for the enchanted form. Once that's done, we're going to move on to the desert settlement. And this is where we're going to use our golden shovel to collect sand until mining level 10. This is the fastest way to mine in the early game. We're then going to do a couple of things with collections. We're going to get cactus to collection 2, sugarcane to collection 3, cocoa to collection 1, and we're going to craft a speed talisman before warping back. Dude, that's actually crazy. We have 91,000 coins right now. Oof, and there we go, a grappling hook. 34K, not too bad. The reason I bought a grappling hook is because it's going to be very helpful in terms of grabbing a bunch of fairy souls, which is what we're going to be doing next. I quickly collected some metawatt and made a potion affinity talisman before spending just 10 minutes searching the hub for fairy souls. Do I trust myself? Oh my gosh and I managed to get 47 in total. All right, it is now time to see how broken this actually is. Now I've managed to get 47, and every time I'm handing these in, I'm gonna get 10 Skyblock XP, which is absolutely crazy. Now I'm nowhere near done, but there's Skyblock level four in like hardly any time. I just thought I would show you, I'm actually at 45 minutes here. With that out the way, it was time to get prepared for the mines. That meant we need to buy a pickaxe, buy an undead sword, get two more stacks of experience bottle, and get level 30 and add smite fire to our undead sword. I also spent 38k on a full set of minor armor. If you're an iron man, something like mushroom armor or Rosetta gear is probably what you're looking for. Completed the blacksmith quest, and then it was on to the gold mines. We're going to be doing the lazy miners quest. All right, now it's back to collections. We've got to do cobblestone, iron and gold down here 
And with that done, it was time to head over to the deep caverns. The deep caverns can be a little bit repetitive, but we've got a couple of different things that we're going to do in here. First, we need to make sure that we speak with the lift operator. This will allow us to use the lift later. And now for the reason that we actually got the undead sword, we're going to do combat down here on these lapis zombies until we hit rotten flesh level two. This should give us a nice jump start into combat. Um, I just thought I'd show you this. We're actually just about to hit one hour here. Oh, I just got lapis armor boots. Nice. Absolutely useless to me, but still. Like, I literally do not need these one bit. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Alright, there we go. Finally hit rotten flesh level. Oh, and that's skyblock level 5. Sweet. I think that's probably enough here. I then got redstone 2, emerald 3. I crafted a talisman of coins. Because I've made some progress in the community hub on other profiles, I actually have a lot more accessory bag slots than a new profile. With that being said, I only put three talismans in just because I wanted this to be followable for anybody that was playing along. Finally, I went down to the diamond level, got diamond collection one before warping back. Let us head back to the barn and let's use the grappling hook to get a few fairy souls. Right, how am I gonna get this without ender pearls? Ender pearls will make this so much easier. Oh my gosh, I'm actually sick. All right, we are done. Time to head back to Tear the Fairy here. I actually do have one more trick stashed firmly up my sleeve. Oh, I've actually got another third, which is so good. This is actually the best part of this whole thing. Bro, I didn't even get one level from that. Oh, yes, I did. Sky, Skyblock level six, there we go. Then we've just got 100 XP until we are absolutely finished with this. All right, let's do a couple of things here. First, let's speak to the Lumberjack for five free Skyblock XP. Then we're just gonna talk to this bartender here and start his little quest before finally just heading downstairs. And we're just gonna have a chat with Maddox to start some Slayer. Do I wish to be the mightiest Slayer of all? You bet I do. So this is just gonna be like a two birds, one stone type situation. There we go, that's the bartender's quest done. Now let's just quickly finish off this Slayer quest. Oh, here he is. And that is done. Each Slayer quest actually gives you 15 Skyblock XP, which is actually so good. Just make sure that you click to collect the XP, otherwise you won't get it. From here, all I did was finish off the last of the 12 villages before heading back to farming, and then this happened. Alright, and there is farming 12. And Skyblock level 7, that is awesome. And it only took us 1 hour and 41 minutes. That's pretty good, I think. 